Soul Land 216 Original Novel Dolo de Lu. Chapter 249 Sixth Trial, Sea God Dolo's Attack TL, Armored Raven When Tang San heard what Sea God Dolo Bo Sixi had said, he suddenly felt that the world inside his mind had been turned upside down, as if countless energies were bombarding it to the point of total emptiness before his eyes. He stood there idly, and was completely unable to say a word. The inspector of the sixth trial had actually changed from the Sea God Seven Sacred Pillars Guardian Doloas, into Sea God Dolo Bo Sixi. To him, this news was just too shocking. The faces of his companions were unsightly, but they weren't as knowledgeable about Pinnacle Doloas as Tang San. Who was Bo Sixi? She was once one of the three strongest powers in the world, and on Sea God Island, even if Tang San's great-grandfather, or Spirit Hall's great priest Jian De Oliu, were to come, neither would be able to win against her. It could be said that while on Sea God Island, Bo Sixi was currently the number one person in the world of Spirit Masters a true champion. If the Shrek 7 had all reached the title Dolo class, perhaps Tang San would have some small amount of confidence towards challenging her. But when the only one who had an eighth spirit ring was him, how could this battle truly be fought? Obviously, Bo Sixi was just a single person, but she would be much more terrifying than the Sea God Seven Sacred Pillars Guardian Doloas. It wasn't hard to imagine how things would unfold should she use her full strength. Forget about Tang San himself and the other five. Even the seven sacred pillar guardians together wouldn't be able to hold her. To them, a level 99 title Doluo wouldn't be too different from a god. Don't talk about a single jaw stick of time, whether or not they could withstand a single attack from Bo Sexy was a huge problem within itself. One would be afraid that if she just made a simple attack, the six of the Shrek seven devils would be obliterated. The face of sea dragon Doluo at the side also became extremely weird. He also knew of sea god Doluo Bo Sexy's strength. To last a single jaw sticks time under her attacks, how could this trial even be passed? If it were the seven guardian Dolos themselves then there would be some slight chances. Provided that Bo Sixi didn't borrow Sea God Hall's power. On Sea God Island, Bo Sixi's title as the world's number one power was definitely not a baseless boast. Senior, is this real? Why giving us a mission that's impossible to complete? Tang San's eyes flared with anger. He wouldn't retreat, but could this trial really be passed? Bo Sexy smiled slightly, hold on for a moment. I haven't finished speaking. In the process of the trial, I cannot use the power of the sea and sea god hall to attack you. I cannot use the power of domains. Just my first six spirit skills. At the same time, if there is still one of you standing out of six after a jaw stick finished burning, then you'll pass. But you only have one chance. Due to your fifth trial's difficulty drop, you only have three days to recover yourselves. After three days, you will immediately take my test. After hearing Bo Sexy's explanation, some color then returned to Tang San's face. Indeed, if they faced Sea God Dolo at her full strength, they would absolutely not have any chances, but with these conditions, they wouldn't be in a complete disadvantage. Not being able to use the seventh, eighth, and ninth spirit skills meant that Bo Sexy couldn't use Spirit Transformation's three strongest spirit skills, and thus the strength would be greatly reduced. Not using the powers of the Sea and Sea God Hall was no doubt a good limitation. Most importantly, Sea God Doluo wouldn't use her domains. Tang San twisted his brains and thought quickly. Now, Daim Yubai behind him asked Bo Sexy, then Senior, can Zuking participate in the battle with us after those three days? Bo Sexy smiled calmly, sure. But those conditions imposed on me earlier would be cancelled. Take your pick. Ugh. Forget it. Even without a thought, with Zhu Zuking as an addition, even Phantom Nether White Tiger would definitely not be a match for the powers which Sea God Doluo would otherwise be restricted in their use. Tang San moaned, I have one last request, Senior. Can you let us choose the location of the challenge? Bo Sexy smiled slightly and said, You can choose anywhere within Sea God Island. Tang San replied without hesitation, Then we choose the bottom of Sea God Mountain. We await Senior's advice in three days. Bo Sexy smiled as she held her chin. After three days, I'll wait for you Sea God Mountain. Red-colored figure floated and then disappeared like red clouds without any additional movements. Bo Sexy had left, but the Shrek 6 devils didn't even feel relaxed. They just passed the fifth trial and yet they had to face such a difficult sixth trial after three days. Of course they wouldn't think that Bo Sexy could be dealt with just because she would only use her former six spirit skills. One should know that her spirit power was level 99. 
No matter her battle experience, usage, and control of skills, or her spirit power which far outclassed theirs, she wasn't someone they could deal with easily. Sea Dragon Doluo who stood at the side smiled helplessly, I really don't know if I should congratulate you or feel worried for you. Being able to receive Lady Bo Sexy's guidance would no doubt be a boon for your future training. You should all know by now that in us seven sea gods seven sacred pillars guardian Doluas, other than me whose battle spirit wasn't bad, the others would only be slightly above average at most. The reason why we could become title Doluas was actually because we received Lady Bo Sexy's guidance. You can say that without Lady Bo Sexy, there wouldn't be us of today. But in our eyes, Lady Bo Sexy is unpredictable, and the real vast sea. With her at Sea God Island, no matter if it's powerful hundred thousand year spirit beasts or land spirit masters, none dared to encroach on Lord Sea God's pride, and thus our blessed land can be protected. All of you should be mentally prepared. Lady Bo Sexy just needed to use half her spirit power, and I couldn't take any of her spirit skills. The Shrek Six Devils were already dejected. When they heard what Sea Dragon Doluo said, they just glanced at each other, and other than Tang San, their souls had all but completely left them. Thank you for your reminder, Senior. There is still three days' s time left, and we will plan well. Farewell. After leaving Sea Dragon Sacred Pillar Platform, everyone returned to the forest outside the Sea Witch Sacred Pillar to rest while waiting for Zhu Zuking to absorb the bestowed spirit ring. After Tang San picked the spot of resting, he immediately sat down with knees crossed and didn't speak a single word. Everyone who knew him would understand that this was his habit of entering deep thought. No one disturbed him as they just quietly sat down to train. The battle after the three days would be the finish line of this trial for Oscar, Dai Mubai, and Ma Hung Jun. The outcome of the trial was at this point. If they were to fail, then according to Sea Horse Doluo, the result would be. And thus, it could be said that Sea God Doluo Bo Sexy would be the key to the survival of the six. She said that they only had one chance, so there was no room for carelessness. Since this trial was given, then it at least proved that should they pull it off flawlessly, they would still have a chance to complete the trial. What Tang San thought about was every single word that Bo Sexy just said, again and again and put together with Shrek Six's own strength in precise calculations. Bo Sexy's strength could be said to be unknown to them. Thus Tang San's calculations could only include how he should make use of all of his own to the best of ways. Achieving the best effects, using the rules, six against one. This isn't opportunism, but wisdom. Zhu Zuking finished the absorption of her bestowed spirit ring after two days, thus became the second of the Shrek 7 to reach spirit Doluo status after Tang San. She also obtained a very powerful single target attack technique, which greatly increased her own strength. Unfortunately, her technique couldn't be used in the sixth trial at the next day. When Zhu Zuking finished absorbing the bestowed spirit ring, Tang San also stopped thinking. The final day was the time he arranged strategies and practiced them. A single jaw stick's time isn't short. If it burned normally, at most it would take an hour's work. For someone like Bo Sexy who's at the pinnacle, an hour was enough for her to do a lot of things. How to utilize Shrek 6's own strength to last for a single jaw stick's time in all sorts of ways, was what Tang San had been thinking about in the past two days. In the final day, he wanted to discuss with his companions and pile up their thoughts, for a singular plan was surely unfeasible. Only with multiple preparations would there be a slightly greater chance. The sixth trial hasn't begun but the pressure was already on. Facing the moment of life or death, everyone's brains became more active and their potentials were also being stimulated subtly. If it doesn't work, then I'll let Xiao Bai take me out to the sea once and simply find a 10,000 year spirit beast to increase my strength to spirit Doluo stage. With one more spirit ring, our total strength would increase slightly. Dai Mubai spoke decisively. No Tang San immediately objected his suggestion, the sixth trial may be perilous, but we also can't gamble with your future. You should understand that for a spirit master, the eighth and ninth spirit skills has considerable importance. It's a direct contrast of strength in similar level confrontations. If the sixth trial were passed, Dai Mubai would surely get additional bestowed spirit rings as a reward and then he would have the 8th spirit ring which suited him the most. How would it be the same as simply finding a 10,000 year spirit beast? Dai Mubai curled his brows, but if we can't pass the 6th trial and perish here, what use would it be in talking about this? In the 7 of us, I'm the oldest. If I can let everyone overcome this ordeal by increasing my strength, then it's definitely worth it. And isn't your 8th spirit ring a sea spirit beast? It's also good. That isn't saying sea spirit beasts don't fit us. 
it just depends on what type it is. I've thought about this very clearly in these two days. If the bestowed spirit ring isn't going to need me breaking my limits to absorb it, then the time in this final day is already enough for it. So don't stop me, little San. Let me go for everyone's survival. It's all for that. Daimubai had stood up as he said that, and he turned around to leave. Tang San kicked up fiercely and grabbed his shoulder, You can't, boss. You. Everyone else also stood up. Besides Zhu Zuking, Oscar, Ning Rong Rong, and Ma Hung Jun all blocked Dai Mubai's way. Dai Mubai tapped on the hand that was grabbing on his shoulder, Little San, Little Ao, Rong Rong, Fatty, don't you all stop me now. As the group's boss, and the only one currently facing the bottleneck, this choice was made to ensure we can all live on. No matter how good the spirit skill, if people are dead then what's the use? At the same time I'm doing this for Zuking as well. I don't want her to become a widow before she even gets married to me. Compared to death, what's it matter if the spirit skill ends up a little worse? Furthermore, Xiao Bai is a hundred thousand year spirit beast. As the overlord of the sea, you think she can't find me a suitable spirit ring? Under these circumstances, we can leave Sea God Island any time we wish, yet with the restraints of the trial, we will just die if we don't participate in time. I'll ask you all then. If it's your own spirit powers reaching the bottleneck, will you make the same choice? If you are sure of your answers, then don't stop me. We are one. I'm your big brother and no one can die. We have trained so hard on Sea God Island till this day, for what? It's for wiping out the spirit hall when we return to the continent. Upon speaking to this point, Dai Mubai's eyes were flickering with majesty. An incomparable dominance and being the big brother of the group made Tang San and others stop getting in his way. Zhu Zuking smiled a little. Her beautiful eyes didn't contain the slightest worry, but they were filled with pride for his own man. I'll go with you. She went and pulled Dai Mubai's hand as she said that. The two of them floated and disappeared in the depths of the woods. It's nothing. Boss Dai should go if he has to. After all, if the trial is passed and our levels are enough, give me a bestowed spirit ring to save it for him. Let him use it as his ninth spirit ring. Ma Hung Jun swung down his fist powerfully. Oscar's eyes went wide in a stare, Damn it you fatty, how can you say what I wanted to say? You're the fourth, and I'm your second brother. These matters aren't up to you. Tell you what. Don't cut my cue until it's your turn. Tang San sighed slightly, it's nothing. This is everyone's matter. Not something that can be taken by a single person. When we come across a more suitable spirit bone then we prioritize on letting Boss Dai choose it. If it doesn't fit him then we'll think up a way to switch a more suitable one. As for other ways to make up, they'll all have to wait until we pass all the trials. Well, let prepare for the battle tomorrow. Mu Bai made such a great sacrifice for us, so we have to give it our all. In just a moment's time, Zhu Zuking returned. She told everyone helplessly that because of having completed all the trials, she can't leave Sea God Island. Xiao Bai said to her that although everyone's relationship was good, she also can't disobey Lord Sea God's will. If Zhu Zuking insisted on leaving the island then she would be attacked by every great white spirit sharks and incur the pursuit of the Seven Sacred Pillars Guardian Dolos. She could only return without a choice. Early morning, when the first glow of the morning sun hit the Sea God Island, it landed on Sea God Hall which stood monumentally on the peak of Sea God Mountain. The sacred golden colors covered the entire mountain, making all the plants around here seemingly let out a strong drive for life. The ring-shaped sea was still clear, but it wasn't still. Seven water lines charged straight from the coast side towards Sea God Mountain. Seven people were standing on top of them without any visible movements, yet their figures were traversing the ring-shaped sea in a shocking speed. Upon closer inspection, under the feet of the seven, each of them were standing on a giant white shark. These were the lords of the sea, great white spirit sharks. Xiao Bai was noted that today the Shrek 7 would have to challenge against sea god Doluo Bo Sixi, so she led six of her clansmen to bring them on their way. Of course, in her words, this might be the last time. While she didn't give everyone encouragement, in her eyes, the Shrek 7 still had a lot of it. I'm going back now. If you are still alive after this, remember to tell me about it as the seaside. Xiao Bai looked at everyone deeply and left with the six of her clansmen. Looking at Xiao Bai's fading figure, Shrek 7's eyes became extra firm. Bai Chenxiang descended from the skies and landed next to them. Dai Mu Bai smiled towards Zhu Zuking, Honey, give me a little stimulation will you? 
Zhu Zuking blushed out, but amazingly she didn't retort. She went up to him and wrapped her hands around his thick neck, locking her hips with his. Her usually cold self actually displayed such a passionate side out of the blue, like ice has become water, melting Dai Mu Bai along completely. Oscar immediately turned and looked at Ning Rong Rong amorously, Honey, I want it too. Ning Rong Rong gave him a slap out of displeasure, Want your face. Wait until after this trial. If the last one standing is you, I will consider giving you a reward. Oscar spoke helplessly, It's not fair. Look at Zuking and Mu Bai. Ning Rong Rong grumped, Zuking doesn't need to participate, while I still do. If you mess up my concentration and doom everyone, will the responsibility be on you? You are G, then forget it. I'll hold myself back. When Zhu Zuking kissed Dai Mu Bai, Ma Hung Jun's eyes then landed on Bai Chen Xiang, Xiang Xiang, look, this. Bai Chen Xiang's face then had a shyness to it while she approached next to him slowly. Right when Fatty was excited about whether or not there would be a rosy scene coming up, Bai Chen Xiang stopped and spoke in a low voice, After you pass this trial, I'll let you kiss me. Okay. Yeah, of course. After hearing what Bai Chen Xiang said, Fatty's voice trembled. It wasn't because of excitement, but because in his fit of happiness, Fatty felt that the phoenix flames were burning at that instant. It was like a beastly blood was boiling all over his body. Xiao Wu arrived next to Tang San nimbly and didn't say anything more. She just held his hand. For this sixth trial, Xiao Wu's soul had already returned to her body back at the coast. The duration of her soul habitation was enough to last her through this trial. Tang San pat on Xiao Wu's head and then touched on the neat scorpion tail. He kissed her forehead and instructed in a low voice, don't be impulsive and just do things according to plan. Just remember that if you run into problems again, what you take, I will take it harder. Xiao Wu seemed remarkably well-mannered and nodded, I know. She suddenly stood on her toes and kissed on Tang San's lips. In her giggle she held onto Tang San's waist and rested her head on his warm chest, enjoying this last moment of peace before the battle. Are you all ready? A voice like lofty clouds and clear winds came by, and the faces of the Shrek 7 became heavy. They formed a horizontal file, while Bai Chen Xiang also stood next to Ma Hung Jun, looking at the direction of Sea God Mountain. Red-colored figure came from the sky, and no one knew how she appeared like always. Sea God Duluo Bo Sexy had already landed before them. Compared to usual, her face was now having more smiles yet more strictness to it as she looked at Shrek 7. Her eyes looked from Tang San's face to Bai Chen Xiang's. All of you have only one chance, and I will not go easy. If you can't pass my trial, then you should be very clear what punishment Lord Sea God will give you, right? Right when Sea God Duluo Bo Sexy said that, everyone instantly felt the air became heavy and their hearts seized up. The intense pressure felt like it was making them unable to breathe. Right now, Tang San suddenly stepped forward and raised his chest with a loud voice, We're ready, and we will pass your trial. His voice was full of tremors coming from his soul, like a pendulum which broke through Bo Sexy's pressure, giving his companion's eyes their firmness. Bo Sexy replied calmly, Good. Then unrelated people can just watch at the side. The trial will begin soon. She waved her sleeve, and Zhu Zuking and Bai Chen Xiang only felt a massive irresistible energy coming from all sides and their bodies tightened. The next moment, they already flew like on the clouds, landing directly on the stairs leading to Sea God Hall. The height was over 50 steps. Bo Sexy's flipped her wrists like when she took out other items before, and amazingly a joss stick appeared. Even Tang San's purple magic eye couldn't see how she did it. It was like the object appeared directly from her hands. Senior, I'll light it up for you. Ma Hung Jun spoke suddenly, while he spat out lightly a seemingly insignificant thread of fire towards the joss stick above Bo Sexy's hands. Bo Sexy smiled and let the phoenix flame land on the tip of the joss stick, then I'm not gonna hold back. Upon watching how the joss stick was successfully lit, the worries were rising like smoke, but Ma Hung Jun's expression then took a turn and spoke in a suspecting tone, Senior there's something wrong with your joss stick. Don't tell me it's gonna burn longer than normal ones. If that's the case then it's not fair to us. Bo Sexy glared at him for a bit. Ma Hung Jun only felt that his own soul was like it had been seen through. He erred on the side of caution and subconsciously took a step backwards. Are you saying a qualified joss stick is one that can be turned to ashes instantly by your phoenix flames? Bo Sexy laughed while she didn't stick the joss stick at the side. She just held it with her left hand and blew the tip with her breath, you all be careful now. With the first trick having failed, 
Shrek 6's minds instantly became tense. They didn't count on the first trick to work, but just to delay a bit of time. For them, it would be advantageous for the jaw stick to burn a little more. Run! Tang San shouted, and at that instant, the Shrek 6 moved. When Bo Sexy was watching with a somewhat confused look, the six actually shifted their figures and each of their backs were forming faint white wings, giving them fast flight which was like a smoky haze. The directions they flew to were all different. In just a moment, they had already crossed the ring-shaped sea at several hundreds of meters away, and their speeds were showing signs of increase. The sixth trial was about lasting through sea god Dolo Bo Sexy's attacks for an hour, but it wasn't said that it had to involve a direct struggle. This was what Tang San discerned from the contents. Therefore, when Ma Hung Jun was distracting Bo Sexy, they had eaten mirror image sausages. Bo Sexy couldn't possibly know what the sausages effects were, but she also had no way of knowing that the effects turned out to be sharp-tailed rain swallow battle spirit which came from Bai Chen Xiang's blood. Bai Chen Xiang only had five spirit rings while any of the Shrek 7 had seven and more. Using the mirror image sausages that had Bai Chen Xiang's blood was equal to using their own spirit powers when they were level 70s and 80s but only at fifth spirit rings degree without even a spirit avatar transformation. However, this was no longer important to the Shrek 6. What's more important was how they could last for an hour under Sea God Dolo Bo Sexy's attacks, not the means. Tang San accurately calculated that after Bai Chen Xiang broke through five spirit rings, her speed could increase again, even when considering Zhu Zuking who reached her eighth spirit ring. The agility could not be compared, but the point was that Zhu Zuking could not fly as her speed was only on the ground. Bai Chen Xiang's speed could be used to fly like birds. Sea God Dolo Bo Sexy said it herself that day, that she would not use the powers of the sea and domains. This way, she couldn't use the ring-shaped sea's waters to suppress everyone. With the flight of Bai Chen Xiang's battle spirit, and in different directions, even if Bo Sexy wanted to attack, she could only do it on a single target. Attacking would cost time, and it was not an exception for a powerhouse like her. She wanted to eliminate them one at a time, but under the frantic escape of the sharp-tailed rain swallow battle spirit, the loss of time would naturally be quick. The abilities of Bai Chen Xiang's fifth spirit skill were simple. The first one was increasing speed, the second one was increasing speed, and the third one, was still increasing speed, and until the fourth one would be evasion. The fifth spirit ring from Evil Orca then gave her a search wave disruption ability. This fifth spirit skill could commence an area search and have the results of it fed back to herself while disrupting every spirit power search from others at the same time. The disruption power was decided by how great the user's spirit power was. If Bai Chen Xiang were to use it, she wouldn't be able to disrupt any single one of Shrek 7, not to mention Sea God Dolo Bo Sexy. However, when Tang San and the others used this skill at the same time, the disruptive power reached an extremely terrifying extent. No one dared to have any reservations when it came to Bo Sexy. When they were flying, they already ate stimulant pink sausages and they almost simultaneously deployed Bai Chen Xiang's fifth spirit skill and went full throttle to fly out irregularly while releasing strong search disrupting waves. The only visible things in midair were rings of grey waves colliding each other and covered the entire space. Especially Tang San's released waves which carried a layer of blue glow, like they had eyes which went straight towards Bo Sexy. Facing such a development, Bo Sexy couldn't help but feeling a bit startled. She didn't think that Shrek 7 would actually use such a way to counter her. According to her original assumption, she thought that Tang San would use the location of the trial, the bottom of Sea God Mountain, to use the myriad of plants on it to deploy his blue silver domain in order to achieve the best effect. Tang San and seven others had come to Sea God Island for nearly four years. Bo Sexy was watching them, especially Tang San in his Sea God 9 trials. For all of Tang San's various abilities, she also knew them clearly. But the battle against Sea Dragon Dolo three days ago surprised her once more. Especially the final hidden weapon Tang San used, which was very marvelous. In a battle of same strengths, it definitely had the ability to turn everything around. But overall, Tang San's strongest means were still the two domains and his own various skills in fighting, also the synergy with his companions and accurate calculation. Unexpectedly, Tang San actually came up with such a dispersal tactic today. Although it appeared to be somewhat helter-skelter, the effect was spot on. Even Bo Sexy couldn't help but praising it in her heart. A faint smile appeared on the corners of Bo Sexy's lips, All right, I'll play with you. Faint blue glow appeared on her body, which immediately blocked the disruption waves whenever they touched her. In a flicker, she flew. 
Without chasing after anyone, she went straight towards the sky like she was climbing it. The speed of it was faster than the speed of the escaping Shrek 6. In a blink of an eye, she reached the altitude of several hundreds of meters. This was followed by Bo Sexy's self-embrace. She rotated once, and in that instant, a blue turbulence was formed from her, expanding rapidly around her body. With a shake of her shoulders and the tremble of her arms, the blue light's expansion increased by several times. It appeared to be a gigantic whirlpool in midair, which somewhat resembled a hurricane on the surface, but it was definitely not a power of wind. Because within it were complete waves of water element. With Tang San as the lead, the disruption waves from everyone had indeed disrupted even Bo Sexy's spirit waves, making her unable to lock on to everyone. But was it really effective? Indeed. Bo Sexy said it herself that she wouldn't use the sea's power. But Sea God Island was a sea island after all, and in here, the water element energy molecules were more abundant than on land. The frantically flying Tang San suddenly felt a powerful pulling force from behind. His originally forward charging self was slowed instantly as the speed of flight dropped dramatically. It was like his own self was tied by a rope, pulling him backwards. In surprise, Tang San looked back and saw Bo Sexy in midair embracing herself and the conditions of his companions. His heart immediately sank. Tang San was no doubt the strongest of the Shrek 7. If he could feel how great he was being held back by the pulling force, then it would be much more worse for others. The ones who felt it the strongest were Oscar and Ning Rong Rong. Although they used the mirror image sausages made with Bai Chen Xiong's blood, they were still support type spirit masters. The spirit power may be strong, but under the fearsome pulling force, the struggling appeared to be so powerless. They watched as they could no longer fly forward, and they were quickly pulled backwards. Ma Hung Jun and Dai Mu Bai could at least stabilize their own selves. While flying forward had become very difficult, they could at least make sure that they wouldn't be pulled backwards. Xiao Wu's condition couldn't be compared to theirs. She wasn't being pulled backwards rapidly like Ning Rong Rong and Oscar, but she was slowly going backwards. Bo Sexy's method of dealing with the escaping Shrek 6 was very simple. Didn't you just seal my spirit search? Very well then. I'll just use an omnidirectional attack to deal with you. Although the six were very dispersed, to the sea god Doluo whose spirit power was as vast as the sea, this bit of distance wasn't even enough to escape from her grasp. Finish here. 3 more to go. Likes comments subscribes. Good luck always.